capture the snart i am jashan and today i am here with another art video which is to make flower vases from this kind of glass bottles and as you all know we have to break all these glass bottles to make these flower vases and for this i have to use some kind of fire technique and i am going to show you everything that i am going to do today but i am pretty scared because of this bandaid cuz this might catch fire uh, during the process but i'll try to protect my fingers and break the bottles so let's start for cutting my glass bottle i am going to use this thread i am going to wind this thread on the bottle from where i want to cut it now i am going to pour turpentine oil on this thread because i am not having petrol or kerosene and i did google search and found that it has relatively same calorific value which is around 43 or 44 so i am going to use this instead of kerosene or petrol now let's let it and until it is burning i need to rotate this bottle continuously i am really scared guys because i am doing this for the first time and it feels like this bottle is going to explode guys please do not try this at home please do not it is really scary and it is having its own risk i am just hoping these flames to slow down soon okay as now flames are ended i am going to throw this bottle immediately into the water to break it maybe this instant change in temperature or flow of heat energy is the secret behind this glass cutting technique i don't know what it is but uh, this is really scary guys and now the moment of truth i guess the cut is not precise i am in trouble you can see the cracks already these are visible on the base part now let me remove the rest of thread from the bottle and with these extra pieces of glass which are now falling i think i am failed badly i think i did a mistake in using the technique maybe the thread was more than needed or maybe my spinning speed was less than what was needed i don't know but i really failed in this attempt but it's okay failures are not just failures they are some learning experiences so let us repeat the same process again for the second bottle but this time i am winding less thread and also i am going to rotate the bottle with more speed this time i am just hoping for the best result and the moment of truth guys it's again a failed attempt too many cracks in the final piece but it is better if i'll be able to break the small piece from here and it will be perfect but uh, how i have no idea i think i am doing something wrong but uh, now i am going to try for the third time the same process but with a lot more precision and uh, after putting it into the water i realized it is again a failed attempt i don't know what i'm doing today with all the failed attempts i am again ready to take the risk i am just taking first piece and winding thread again on it and trying to make the cut more precise but again the same results maybe it's not my day today uh, but don't forget i'm going to create magic anyways you will love the end result I definitely will make it work out. So guys, as you know, I tried for four times but I failed. And the bottles from the top are looking like this. These are not even and uh, these are some kind of not safe to use, but I'm trying to use molded clay instead of sanding all these. So I am not going to use any kind of sandpaper but I am going to use molded clay to make all these pieces work out and make some kind of beautiful flower vases out of these broken glass bottles. So let's start. I am starting with the end in my mind which I think is a good sign. I am thinking to make a high class peacock flower vase so I am drawing its basic structure using acrylic marker on the bottle. And also I am going to paste paper on it using fevicol because I want to use clay in this piece so I must have to make my clay to stick on the glass bottle and I have to make 
the surface of glass bottle some kind of rough to make my clay stay over it that's why i am going to paste paper on the glass surface to decrease its smoothness and to add some rough texture in it now i am taking molded clay and starting to mix the clay with the hardener as my clay is now ready so i am going to make feathers of my peacock and also i am going to make its body i am making the peacock on the place where the surface of bottle was uneven so to add sport in my peacock i am also putting some sticks in it and also i am trying to take the help of uneven surface of bottle after making the top portion of the peacock i am going to paste a layer of clay on the place of its tail using fabicol you know guys while using clay my thumb is really hurting because unknowingly i am putting pressure on it and because of this pressure and my habit to use thumb too much my thumb is really hurting now i am also going to apply a layer of clay to all over the top of glass bottle as i have not used any sandpaper so it may be risky to leave it untreated so i am just trying to make it smooth using clay i have pasted all the clay that i needed to paste on its place so i am going to add texture and design in the clay to make feathers and tail of the peacock and also i am going to add design in its body after carving the design i need to leave it for drying for some time uh, about for an hour as it is dried up now so i am applying a layer of gesso on it and then again i need to leave it for drying for some time as it is dried up again so i am going to apply black paint on the body of peacock not on its tail i am leaving it because i really want to paint um, more beautiful shades on it i am going to use turquoise magenta uh, burnt sienna and a lot more shades on it so i am just applying a layer of all those shades on it instead of painting it realistically i am just adding too many colors in it Until I am making its tail colorful you can like this video guys and subscribe my channel because you can see I am working really very hard so do a favor to me like this video and also subscribe my channel After painting all these beautiful shades in the tail of this peacock I again need to let it dry for some time and uh, now it's the time for next layer so I am going to add some bit of metallic silver glitter shade on all over the peacock and also i'm going to add a little bit of golden metallic paint in it and with all this glittery paints it's now ready look at it guys it's really looking amazing after drying up i just need to clean the glass and it will become a high class flower vase it's amazing So guys I'm done with my first flower vase and this turned out really amazing so let's move towards our second flower vase For this second flower vase I am again mixing the clay with the hardener and then I am going to make small balls of this clay and I am planning to make Ganesha Guys I forgot to press the record button while pasting all the pieces to make Ganesha sorry for that but this is the result and I have applied the clay on the edges also to make it a little bit smoother as i told you that i have not used any kind of sandpaper today after letting it dry for some time i am again going to paint it with black acrylic paint i am going to paint black acrylic paint everywhere guys using masking tape uh, i am also going to paint a black strip on the top and also on the bottom so guys you know what i'm thinking i want to make this piece royal and i want you all to say that jashan we want to buy this so i am going to add more finishing in it so for this i am painting the bottom from inside with same black acrylic paint and as you all know now we need to let it for dry we are doing this thing only today as it's dried up so i am going to use golden metallic paint to add more details in it by painting strips on the top and bottom of golden paint and also i'm going to apply this golden paint on the ganesha and also on the top edge 
After finishing with this gold and paint, I am going to add more details in the face of Ganesha. I am going to draw Telk, his eyes and his turban using turquoise and magenta shades. And I bet you guys, this piece is really going to look amazing. Now, after adding just final touches to this flower vase, it's now ready. What do you think about this guys? I told you, this is going to really look amazing. Both the vases are really very different but having their own class. What do you think guys? Type your reviews in comments. I really want to know. So guys, it's the time to move towards our third magical piece and I am going to use this piece for this. You can see I have not removed the thread from here. This is for a reason. As you can see cracks here, if I remove the thread, this is going to break out from here and I don't want it. So I'm going to use it like this only and... Uh, I am hoping for the best art piece from this one bottle, so let's move towards our third piece. On this third flower vase, I have just applied clay to hide the uneven edges and on the place of pasting paper, I am using masking tape itself. Now I am going to apply a coat of gesso on the whole vase and then I am going to leave it for drying for some time. And this gesso coat must be thick, you need to take care of this thing. Now using cyan blue paint, I am starting to paint the flower vase from the top and then I am going to add some kind of curly design to the rest of the piece. I am scared for this flower vase and I am really scared for its finishing but it's okay. I will use it to keep my brushes on my table and I will definitely make something beautiful out of this. Now using turquoise and magenta shades, I am adding details in my designs and uh, this is so refreshing guys, this process of repeating patterns is making me so relaxed and uh, this is magical guys. After painting the pattern, I am adding details to the top using white acrylic paint and uh, this is making it look more better and more beautiful. I think this is also going to work out and I am loving this flower vase now. Because it is having a very simple and unique pattern in it. And with all these patterns, this vase is also ready. After one hour, I will apply varnish on all these flower vases, which will protect these from getting ruined. So guys, we are done with all the flower vases and it's the moment of truth. We have to put these flowers in all those and see the end result. So let's move. First model for our today's show is this peacock flower vase. Let us see all the details in it from all the sides and uh, this is really amazing guys. What do you think about it? Our today's second model is this blue and simple flower vase which is really having elegant design on it and uh, it is also looking very beautiful. Even though it is different from the rest of two and it is more simple but it has its own charm. It's really beautiful. Now last but not the least our Ganesha flower vase. I think this is my favorite guys because I love golden and black combination. What do you think guys about all these flower vases out of all these three? Which one is your favorite one? Let me know in the comment section. I am in love with all these three but especially with this Ganesha flower vase. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, then press the like button and you can appreciate me in comments and tell me which flower vase you like the most out of all these three because I am really working very hard with my full time job um, by making all these videos. So you can subscribe this channel to appreciate me, to support me for which you need to press the subscribe button and also you need to press the bell icon to get notifications for all my new videos first. And guys, Recently, I have started a new art show which is heart to heart with Jashan and you really need to watch that because in that art uh, show, I am going to share my full journey and my art perspectives and where I learned art, everything about me. So do watch that show also and guys, I'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. You are amazing. Bye.